So over here you can see that I have a bunch of objects and if you want this to, um, uh, this to be, let's say for example, recorded in certain steps, then you can go around and add these items in something called outline. So to do that, to add something to the outline, you can go around and access the outline from over here. As you can see, so there is outlines that you can access. But if you want to add to the outline, you can click on an object that you want to add to the outline, right click, and over here you will be able to see uh, like add to outline right here. So once you do that, this becomes the first step. And here you can see this is going to be the first thing to do just like this. So this is going to be the outline and you can go around over here. And once something is added onto the outline, you can enable and disable the particular object. As you can see, you can go around and click on the three dot icon. You can rename out the outline as you wish. So you can go around and rename this. Let's say for example, just like that right here. You can uh, click on the three dot icon, click on add instructions to add in more details over here as well. And you can even do formatting to this like bold, underline, italics, and you can add in something like lists as you can see right here. Just like this, you can save it out and uh, whatever description you add in, it gets displayed over here. You can go around and get around the link to that particular step as well. So if someone wants to uh, view that particular step or you want to share that particular step with the other person, then you can use this view link, uh, link right here or you can click on remove outline to remove it completely off the outline as well. So I'm just going to go around over here and right click and I'm going to go around and click on add to outline. So this is again in the outline. So I can go around, add this to the outline again, just like this. And then I'm going to go around over here and I'm going to say another step right here. So this is going to be another step and I'm going to go around over here, click on add to outline. And this is going to be the third step right here, just like this. So you can see that this is what you have and you can go around and rearrange out the outline as you wish as well. You can click on the outline right here as you can see and enable and disable this out as well. The, um, let's say, for example, click on the title of the outline and you can see that uh, 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 the focus of the outline changes out just like that as well. If I were to go around and then copy, let's say, for example, link to this step right here and click on go to that particular link. So if someone copies and pastes out that link, then um, you, will, you will be focusing on that particular outline object just like this, as you can see. So that is how you can add to and remove from outline inside of Mural. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.